I'll share the link. And I'll share the link with you all, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's uh, let's begin. So we are already done with the mechanical means and we are already done with the sentence structure and words, emphasis by sentence structure and words. Now, the next point that we're going to discuss is emphasis by position. Now, uh, I've already told you that how we, we change the position within the sentence, but it is not that position that we're talking about. It is the position of the, of the, of the, of the text itself. So when there is something in the, in the beginning of the paragraph, in the, in the beginning or towards the end of the paragraph, it is automatically considered as something which is more important. We still have participants coming in and they are late. Okay, so if let me uh, can you can you see this this whiteboard? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, good. Uh, so, so for example, when we are um, when we have this this uh, uh, this this text, let's suppose this is the page that we have, right? Let's suppose this is the page. And in that page, if you're bringing something here in the mid, automatically you're trying to emphasize it through the position. Or when you're bringing it to the end, when you give, uh, you know, give the heading and you give a moral towards the end, you bring it towards the mid, right? So this is emphasis through position. Any paragraph, which is in the beginning or any text which is in the beginning or any text which is towards the end is automatically emphasized. For example, when we write introductions, introduction are, are important. Introduction is important because uh, introduction is, is um, focused, is, is, is beginning, is talking about what you're trying to say. And conclusion is important because it's giving you a summary, a crux of what you have already said. So the mid, paragraphs are not that, although we are not saying that they are not important, but the way you emphasize something is uh, through, the, uh, through positioning as well. And through positioning, it will be, for example, you conclude towards the end, whatever you have said in the initial paragraphs, and you give the crux or you give the summary of it in, in points. Or for example, if you remember, we have discussed research papers and in research papers, I've told you that there is this abstract and abstract is in the beginning. This means that abstract states everything that is present in the paper, but in the summarized form. Now, when we have the summarized form towards the beginning, it means that this is emphasized. We, uh, we want someone to just read it at once and they'll know what is there in the paragraphs in detail. Similarly, if it is not just the entire text, when it is just a paragraph, if you remember, I told you that within paragraphs, we when I was discussing this, um, how to attempt papers, uh, and I told you that when you are attempting literature papers, so for example, in linguistics, you have uh, you can give headings, but in literature paper or when you're writing essays, you cannot give uh, headings or headings are not appreciated so what you do is that you start your paragraph with the topical sentence. If you remember, I told you that. So that topical sentence is kind of a heading, which is, posi which is done through positioning. So you position the important sentence, which is kind of a heading that you want to emphasize towards the beginning of the, of the paragraph. And when it's in the beginning of the paragraph, automatically when the reader reads it, the first sentence, the reader understands what is in what is coming within the paragraph or what is the paragraph about. I hope this is clear so far. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Now we have uh, these any any important any important point uh, even in research we place them sometimes towards the. Um, uh, towards the center, towards the mid. For example, if someone is writing a quotation, right? So when writing a quotation, let's suppose this is the quotation that I want to emphasize, right? And what I would do is, uh, can you see the screen over here? And can you see the cursor? See the cursor is over here on the center, your content. 
Can you see this center your content? The same will be there in the Word document as well. So you have to click it to center your content and you will, can you see this arrow? Increase list level, right? And you click this and it will automatically uh, be in, in the mid and this would be emphasized. Right. So when we are when trying to quote something in research papers, we uh, which is more than three to four lines of uh, direct quotation, more, more than three to four lines of direct quotation, we bring it towards the mid, towards the center. Right. And we bring it to the center and we squeeze it down from both sides so that it is emphasize to positioning. So when you're looking at the text, you're able to see that there's a text which is squeezed down from both sides and it is in the mid and inverted commas. So we are using two different techniques for emphasis. The first technique of emphasis is of the mechanics, which is we are using inverted commas as I've already told you that we use inverted commas for um, emphasis. However, when we are bringing this to the mid, we remove inverted commas because it's already emphasized to position, right? So rather than uh, putting it into inverted commas, we bring it to the mid and we remove those inverted commas. Remember I told you that we do not emphasize by two means. So for example, if a text is underlined, right? If a text is underlined, can I italicize it too? Would you please give me an answer? Anyone? Anyone? No, ma'am. No means that we will not italicize it, right, Tabur? Yeah. Good. So either we are going to italicize it or we are going to underline it right any one of it we cannot do it through both ways so we have to remove one similarly when we are emphasizing through position by bringing this text in the mid i will do once again once again for you people so that you are able to understand let let me do it with this slide for example i want to emphasize this section this is a direct 